When I used to attend an Orthodox synagogue, I learned a funny story from some of the congregants. A local pizza shop got in trouble once with the city's kashrut commission, who threatened to pull the restaurant's kosher status. When asked why, the rabbi said that the problem is not with the pizza shop's practices. They followed all of the laws and did not dispute the food's kosher status. The problem, in their opinion, was that Jews and non-Jews were meeting and commingling there. When I asked what the problem with that was, they said there is a tradition, although not a strict law, that Jews and non-Jews should not fraternize, except in necessary business relationships. This basis is the same principle that produces laws such as Bishul Yisrael, which was summarized by Chabad in the following way. By forbidding Jews from eating food cooked by non-Jews, our sages intended to create a social barrier between Jews and non-Jews in order to prevent intermarriage. And the reader on Stack Exchange does a really good job summarizing this. Uh, the, he says, There is a prohibition of food cooked by a Gentile and the bread of a Gentile in order to prevent mingling that can lead to intermarriage. These laws are similar, but have differences in the details. Similarly, the prohibition of wine touched or moved by a Gentile is similar to these laws. The sages stated that all of these laws are based in the idea that one must not socialize with Gentiles in order to prevent the possibility of intermarriage or becoming close to them. The rabbis long ago created prohibitions to keep Jews and non-Jews socially separated. This is a very clear mark of a cult. Just think of any group, let's say, David Koresh or Jim Jones or even the Jehovah's Witnesses. They are sought um, to isolate the insiders from the potential influence of outsiders. This allows the cult leader to better indoctrinate the members without interference from the outside. So, what happened to the local kosher pizza shop? Well, the shop decided to make a deal with the Kashrut Commission. They'd make sure that all of their dairy products are certified as Chol of Yisrael, so they've sort of upgraded their standards. Dairy foods don't need end-to-end -end rabbinic supervision to be considered kosher, um, as long as the organizations that package the milk give a reasonable assurance that the milk is from a kosher animal, it's kosher. But Chol of Yisrael is like an additional stringency for milk, sort of like glatt kosher is for meat. And with these additional restrictions in place, the cost of the pizza went up and its quality went down. Gentiles stopped going there, and the problem was solved. Shalom. Aleichem.